my sentiments exactly. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I thought I was... That's quite all right. I cannot blame you for seeking a safe harbour. It is an altogether tedious gathering. And now you are going to tell me that Mrs. Maudsley is your mother, and I have just committed an unspeakable solecism. No, no, I do not know her in the slightest. Indeed, I barely know a soul in London. From what I have seen of the place, that is no great hardship. If you dislike London so much, then why are you here? My friend Georgiana was abducted. She is an heiress, you see, and her suitor, Mr. Molyneux, had accrued gambling debts he could not pay. So she was sold into a forced marriage. That's simply shocking. It was. Anyway, thank God we found her in time and now she's safe. But Mr. Tom insisted we come here tonight to spread word of the Sandstorm Regatta. But as you can see, I'm singularly failing in that task. <laughs> Forgive me, I, I'm inclined to talk too much. Um, Mrs. Susan. And who might you be? Charlotte Hayward. Forgive me for asking, Charlotte. But you seem somewhat befuddled. Do I? <laughs> there is a certain gentleman, Mr. Sidney Parker, Mr. Tom Parker's brother. He inspires an anger in me I did not know I possessed. And yet I find that his good opinion means more to me than anybody else's. How can that be? Sounds to me as if you are in love with him. What? No, I, I assure you that could not be further from the truth. I, if I should ever fall in love, it would not be with a man like him. My dear girl, you cannot determine who you fall in love with. It is an affliction, like the measles. Ah, there you are. I was beginning to think you'd made your escape. Might I presume you are Mr. Sidney Parker? We were just discussing you. Right. Well, um, I was wondering if Miss Hayward would like to dance, if I'm not interrupting, that is. Not in the least. 